Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we got a quick unboxing weights measurements video on the Ryobi 40 watt soldering iron, which is Paul 3105. Um, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. what is up everybody how's it going all right so before we get started on this video please like comment subscribe smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates all right so let's get into this this is the 40 watt soldering iron up to 900 degrees um, up to four hours of runtime um, from ryobi this is the ryobi 18 volt one plus system um, us number is 1003-185-131 Mexico version is 139-047 and the part number is Paul 3105 This is what she looks like um, I also grabbed the bigger unit as well the $79 one we got sitting right there um, So this states on the back 40 watt soldering iron up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit iron holder for safe and convenient storage LED light indicator let you know when the tip is hot. Three foot reach, cordless convenience allows you to take the tool directly to the workpiece. Uh, it says it's 18 volts, um, which is the 18 volt platform, uh, 0.8 pounds. Um, I do not know if it says anywhere on here a particular battery. So it's made in China. Distributed by One World Technologies, Inc. from Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, using a P193 18 volt 1 plus 6 amp hour lithium plus HP battery. So it's saying you can get 4 hours out of a 6 amp hour. That's what it's saying. I don't have any 6 amp hours. I do have an HP plus battery, but it's a 4 amp hour. I have the old style 4 amp hour and I have a 1.5 amp hour sitting here as well. So let's get into it. All right, bring the light in a little closer. And I am wearing a Ryobi shirt today. Boom. Just cause. Uh, let's see. The one thing I wish, um, sometimes it was easier to open these because they, they glue these. These are the types of boxes that you just rip open like that. There we go. Don't normally need a knife for these. I, I'm just so used to you cutting open DeWalt in Milwaukee where they got tape on them. All right, so. Got your instruction booklet in a little, uh, in, in the back of this cardboard sleeve. Operator's manual, we got a 40 volt and 18 volt pamphlet. So this shows 40 volt on one side. On the inside, it is 175 plus one plus tools. 18 volt tools, which um, I'm gonna start putting these up because I have Makita right there. And I've got Milwaukee right here. I'm gonna start putting the, these up on the walls around here as well. Tool. And then there is a plastic. Oh, that's just for the thing. Okay. We got a little bit of solder. It's always nice to get some extra solder. The box is completely empty. All right. So pull that cardboard off. The unit's in a small bag. Okay. So there's the unit. The torch actually had this on it. I put it back on it real quick. This is slightly loose. It only comes with what looks like one torch tip. Thought it would have also came with a flat tip. Guess not. Mm. 
They are standard style tips. So that's in the box too. Take this twist tie off. It wasn't really packaged very well for this one. I could have folded it a lot nicer. But, you know. This cord is... It's pretty flexible. Not as flexible as I'd like, but it is... Um, 300 volt harvest cord. C-R-U-A-W-M-I-A. 80 Celsius, 300 volts, FTI. Put it in there like that. Let's grab the scale, move all these batteries out the way, grab the scale. We'll take a quick weight of it by itself. I'm going to move the camera down so you guys can see. Yeah, scale is at zero. It's twelve point three ounces. Three hundred and forty-eight kilograms. Three hundred and forty-eight grams. So not bad. With a one point five, which is probably not gonna give you much time, but 15.2 ounces for this battery. Pop, a, pop this little battery on it, see what it weighs with a 1.5. Um, when I get bigger batteries and different size batteries, um, I can always let you guys know in the comment section, you know, what it, what it weighs with this extra battery if you're curious. Um, one pound, 11.5 ounces with a 1.5. With an old style four that looks just like that 1.5. Two pounds, 5.4 ounces, and that four weighs by itself. One pound, 9.0 ounces. And then here is a HP, a lithium plus HP four amp hour battery. It is one pound, 11.8 ounces, which is a little bit heavier than this four, which is one pound, nine ounces. With that on it, it is two pounds, 8.1 ounces with this four. Um, I'm going to end up probably picking up a 6 because that's what it recommends. Um, and it will come in handy for other items. So that's all I'm going to do on the weights. So measurement. Um, we're going to measure it without. I'm just going to lay it down. Do a couple measurements. So the top to, of the base to the bottom of the battery section is three inches and one eighth of an inch. Um, the highest peak point from the base to the back of the soldering iron is eight inches and a, and a half of an inch. Um, from the core, the start of the cord and the soldering iron to the tip of the um, the base of the holder is nine and seven eighths of an inch. Um, it is from the front to the back on the base. It is five and a half inches. No, it is five and one eighth of an inch to the start of the cord. With a 1.5, see how it makes it with a 1.5 in height. It will be... from the top of the unit the main unit it is four inches and a half of an inch to the top of the soldering iron right here the very tip it is 10 inches with that guy um, so if I put this four amp hour on here which is slightly shorter 
than the HP 4. So keep that in mind. These older 4s are a little bit shorter than the HP Plus batteries. So it is 5 5 and 1 quarters an inch tall with that 4. Um, and to the top of the handle it is 10 and a half to this point right here which is sorry guys to this point it's 10 and a half and then we'll pop the 4 amp hour um, HP plus battery you can see it is just a hair taller not a lot but a little bit Okay, so measuring it with this one, um, and this unit is, is a little smaller than the battery, so if the battery is on it, it is three and one quarters of an inch wide with the battery, because it's taking up the width of the battery, so this unit is actually smaller than the battery, it's two and, it's two and three. This is three quarters, a little over three quarters, maybe by one sixteenth of an inch. So with this battery, top of the bottom of the battery to the top of the main unit right here is five and almost three eighths. A little shy of five and three eighths of an inch. Um, and then this unit to the top of the handle is about the same it looks about the same to me 10 and a half maybe a little little more um, let me move it over here it is uh, about 10 and 3 eighths of an inch so it was probably the other one's probably 10 and 3 eighths also I was kind of eyeballing it um, for measurements, um, I don't have any wire out right this minute. Um, probably going to have to do the demo on a separate video because I totally spaced it when I was setting up the video. I didn't even grab wire. Um, it does come with little bit of solder which is kind of nice of them kind of looks like a little bit of chintzy solder though um, but if I don't do a demo in this video then this will be a short unboxing um, specifications video which is not a big deal um, I go I know you guys like the shorter shorter videos anyways um, so that's everything it came with I am kind of a little bummed that it didn't come with a chisel tip um, I figured it would come with a chisel tip but I guess it doesn't I think the the full-size $79 unit over there does come with a chisel tip though so that's not a big deal um, I can always go pick up chisel tips uh, there's just they're just standard soldering tips the handle does feel really nice um, has the same feeling as the um, other tools um, got some kind of plus symbol knurling right here it does feel very nice in the hand yeah it does feel very nice in the hand so that is a plus um, it fits in the holder very nicely it slips in pretty easy it sits up on these little flats right here On the holder so it won't go any further in than that it is nice set up um, it's a nice little compact unit this one I'm gonna use probably mostly for um, soldering wires on vehicles um, stuff like that um, because this doesn't have a temperature control um, this one's just 900 degrees and that's it um, so that will work well the other unit that I bought I'm gonna use that mainly for electronics um, because it's got temperature control as well as I may every once in a while use that particularly for um, automotive wiring or larger gauge wiring. But that's, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope the video was helpful and informative. 
Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out, hanging out with me, checking out the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my uh, DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. I will um, do a separate demonstration video. Um, if you guys want to see this demonstrated, uh, try to get this video up to like 500 likes um, or, or 100 likes at least. Um, and um, I will do a demonstration video when that happens. If that doesn't happen, I'll probably eventually do a demonstration video. It'll probably just be a year down the road or something like that. I will also give you guys updates down the road, um, how it does over time. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for stopping by. I want to say thank you to all the, the subscribers, the people that like, dislike, the people that comment, all the non-subscribers. If you aren't subscribed, smush the bell if, if you know this is something that may interest you. Um, power tools is a lot of what I do on the channel. I do automotive every once in a while on the channel as well, which is automotive is, is my normal job. Um, and computers. I, I do computers and automotive. So that's what mostly is on the channel. So yeah, I do lots of electronics and, and you know camera equipment videos and many other things, power tools, soldering irons, um, as well as gardening videos, you know, to support my wife and other things, you know, random things that I pick up from the store, like what movies I bought and what, you know, what do you guys like about those movies, stuff like that. So uh, smush the bell notification icon if, if any of that stuff interests you guys. I will definitely be doing head-to-heads, which that might be a reason why you'd want to smoosh the bell notification icon because I'm going to be putting Ryobi against Milwaukee and DeWalt and Rigid, or I don't have any Rigid, so Rigid, not XNA the Rigid out, sorry. Um, just over-talked there for a minute. Uh, Makita, Bosch, um, and all of their voltage variants and everything else. Hammer drill versus hammer drill, impact driver versus impact driver, reset axles, compact recips, you name it. If that is interest you guys, smush the bell notification icon, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Y'all have an awesome day. Peace!